Sometimes, in the world of capitalism, demand far outreaches supply. God, and when this happens, our favorite products could find themselves in danger of being copied. Counterfeited, if you will. Masterpiece Transformers toys are collector-focused toys that are primarily based upon characters from the Transformers G1 era, but manufactured with today's advanced engineering techniques. Hmm? What? Where place CD apparatus located decision, man? man, man, man. Are you serious? Masterpiece Transformers tend to be very expensive with larger and more complex engineering to achieve closer accuracy and greater articulation than toys aimed at children. The Masterpiece toy line is largely developed by Takara Tony with the Japanese market in mind. The toys are also distributed by Hasbro Bruh. in Asian markets outside of Japan. But when it comes to transforming toy robots, Hasbro and Takara Tomy have some stiff competition. Which brings us to our Transformers Toy Talk of the Day. Greetings, spectacular people. I am SFC Spectacular, your NCOIC for all things entertaining on this channel. Founded in 2006, Fans Toys is a toy company that specializes in third-party masterpiece scale Transformer toys in different G1 aesthetics. The third-party Transformer market emerged largely due to rejuvenated interest in the brand following releases of the live-action film and toy shows in 2006 and 2007. The third-party market generally targeted filling the gaps fans demanded from Hasbro and Takara. In 2006, Fans Toys' first project was FT-01, a trailer for Takara Tomy's 20th anniversary Optimus Prime. After a brief hiatus, Fans Toys returned in 2013 with their first official transforming robot action figure, dubbed Quake Wave. Quake Wave is Fans Toys' homage to Generation 1 Shockwave. Quake Wave received extremely high praise among collectors. The toy was cited as having high quality and a generous use of die cast metal. Quake Wave was the first third party toy intended to scale on purpose with Takara's masterpiece line. Because he's got good brains. <laughs> Since that time, Fans Toys has released numerous figures that fit the G1 Transformers aesthetic. Some toys have different variants with different colors. Each version has specific designations. Over the years, Fans Toys have developed quite the reputation amongst collectors. Personally, I collect mostly official Takara Tomy Transformers. What about you? Do you like official or third party Transformers? Hit me down in the comments and let me know. Which brings us to one of Fans Toys releases from earlier this year, FT-47 Rig. As you can see here, FT-47 Rig is a faithful representation of Huffer from the G1 era of Transformers. He is nicely painted a golden orange tint, accented with a base blue and light blue parts, with loads of die cast throughout the figure. Unlike the Karatomi's efforts, this figure comes packaged in its robot mode. As to be expected, he is missing his Autobot Faction logo for trademark reasons. Do I care? No. One last update about Fans Toys. As of this video, Fans Toys is temporarily shutting down operations due to the counterfeit scandal going on in Asian markets. Have you ever owned a Fans Toys figure? If so, did you like it? What model was it? Let me know down in the comments. Well, spectacular people, that's it for this episode of Transformers Toy Talk. I hope you found this informative and entertaining. And if you did, consider subscribing to this channel for more videos just like this. And make sure you come back to see my full review of FT-47 Rig. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other Masterpiece Transformers reviews on this channel. Make sure you check out the other videos on screen that YouTube recommends. And until next time, remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Peace.